Hey Capricorn, welcome to Live, Laugh, Love, Terry. Today we're delving into what is the person on your mind hiding from you, all right? This can play out past, present, or future. Take it how it resonates if it resonates for you, okay? It's a timeless reading, so when you're seeing this, that's when it's meant for you, okay? I do have personals available. Link is down below in the description box. Uh, you can always check out my playlist for additional collective reads. And as always, thank you for all of the likes, subscribes, tips, donations, bookings. It's all greatly appreciated. So what pops right out here is there's an emotional connection to someone else cheating. The person that's on your mind is emotionally connected with someone else. It says there's a secret friend, secret meetings or chats in the early stages. Nothing has been crossed. Okay, so cheating. So something is just kind of like kicked off here between your person, the person on your mind and someone else. Here we have witchcraft. Someone is casting spells to control a situation. Sneaky behavior. You may have someone... Um, I'm going to put it here because I believe these two go hand in hand. You may, like your person may have just like started off by texting someone and, um, you know, little things here and there. Sorry about that. Little things here and there. And now they just full blown out, had these strong emotions for this person. And it's like, well, damn, how could that be so soon? It's because this person probably doing love spells on them and shit. Yeah, it says they refuse to commit to anything or give you a straight answer. That's this person. And I and I feel like the person on your mind is, it's like they found the right person now. And now maybe this person then, you know, did a little something to make them stuck on them then. Let's see. Let's delve deeper. Settling. They rather settle than break up because it's not exactly bad, but not great either. So I feel like this person is settling to stay in a relationship, they they use a situation to make you feel guilty for expressing your concerns in the first place. Wow, I feel like this person is scheming, making secret underhand plans, all right? And they could be telling you, they could just be still in um, the relationship with you because it's like it's familiar to them. Maybe you feel the same exact way there, but then it's like this person just goes and does them. They've already started some type of new connection with someone else here, okay? And it's like that other someone else has been doing a little extra, okay? Whether it be tantric sex, whether it be love spells or whatever, you know? Here we have, it was a one-time mistake and now feeling regretful for that cheating, okay? This is somebody that goes back and forth, all right? The person that's on your mind. It says their controlling behavior comes from their insecurities. We have argumentative. They love to argue and create drama where there is none, okay? So I'm getting, to be honest, what your person is hiding is that they started someone else started something with someone else okay it they began to get these stronger emotions okay in the relationship partly because of spell work okay and it's then it's like this person they still want to settle and be with you okay not like settle and be with you you know more so they still want to be just in this connection and they're not doing any work to you know, be responsible, take any type of responsibility. They feel regretful. That's probably about the only thing that they feel. But then this person is very argumentative and they use like this control and behavior because of their own insecurities. This is somebody that wants their cake and eat it too at the same exact time. Let's go ahead and delve into their emotions. What's going on with this person's emotions? We Here we have um, consolation. So, it's like this person um, that's doing this love work. Ooh, and we even see child. Oh my goodness. And consistency. So this person um, may want consistency from your person, okay? So they're going to try to um, get a pregnancy out of this, okay? Whether it's getting your person pregnant or getting pregnant, okay? I can guarantee you that. And it's like your person finds this out. And now they like all hell breaks loose because they know that they're not going to be able to be with you. Yeah, with a doctor here, they may have recently went to the doctor's office with this person. And now they stress the fuck out. They like, damn, well, I guess I got to stay with them because we got a child. But with the love here, mm, 
and the foe. Yeah, Spirit is saying that this is false love that this person is giving you, okay? And that this is false love in this situation because of spell, spell work, okay? Mm -hmm. Here we have cheerfulness, coming together of parties, you know, I don't know. This person may be like, well, the liquor made me do it or something like that. It's like this person is regretting coming together. It's like, oh, it's a one-time thing, but something permanent happened from it. Okay. Yeah. With the room here, this house is not a home. I just see a lot of karma here, you know, to be honest. It's like, even if you all, like, if you used to stay with this person, smash that like button because I see you moving out. Okay, I see you distancing yourself and I see this person falling into regret. Yeah, with love here, it's like this person gets karma like for choosing someone that possibly is a karmic for them. Yeah, with pleasure seekers here. This person chooses someone that's a pleasure seeker just like they are. And with the money here, this is someone that is very materialistic, okay? This person could be feeling like they're bound in a financial agreement with this third party, okay? Because of a pregnancy, possibly, okay? So let's throw some tarot on and let's see what's going on here. Okay, so what is Capricorn's person hiding from them? The person on their mind, please and thank you. Here we have the Emperor. This person is being very controlling right now, but this is also my father card. So this person could be hiding that they're becoming a father, that they're parenting. They have some type of financial obligation to someone, okay? It does say logic and, or and organization will increase your success. Because this person is going to have to think smarter, aren't they? We're having more responsibilities. Okay? It's like this person has to start using logic here. Okay? Yeah. The bottom deck is the king of cups. You know, trustworthy, honorable, devoted. This person is all in their emotions about what took place. Yeah. With the ten of pentacles here. We even see that pregnant person right here. It's like they went and started a family with someone there. And they're in their feelings about it. Yeah, and then we have the Queen of Cups here, love and compassion and psychic self-sacrificing. Um, the person that they're dealing with could deal like read cards, okay? But it's like, uh, let me just get one more. I got to get one more because I'm curious. Yeah, with the King of Pentacles. For a lot of you all, I feel like the Queen of Cups is you, actually. Okay, and it's like this person is trying to come in, like smash that like button. If this masculine energy has tried to come back, whether you're a male or female, whether they're a male or female, but they want you to um, be swayed by them financially. Like they want to come in and act like they have this money, this financial stability in order to sway you. OK, you're like, no, you need to probably take care of your own responsibilities, you know, because you have more responsibilities here and you're being more poised, you know, but at the same time, emotionally balanced. Right. Especially with the four swords energy here. I feel like you're falling back from this person. Yeah. With the six of cups here, you're falling back from someone from your past. Like this person is going to try to come back so that you can settle for them. But. I'm getting like you're emotionally stable when this person comes in. Yeah, with the renewal here, re reviewing the past with compassion and forgiveness. But it says time to head in a new direction. Clarity on your life, purpose in your heart. Know what to do like you know what to do. And this is where you know what to do. OK, it's like, no, there won't be no type of renewal. And then that's where that person starts to feel that regret here. Yeah, with the seven of swords here, it's because this person is being sneaky. OK, that's what this person is hiding. Something that can potentially break your heart. OK, it's going to hurt finding this out that you were a third party with this queen of wands here. OK, and that this person could have very well started a family with a third party energy. That's what I'm seeing. It comes out again. OK, let's delve deeper. What well, popped out? Mm, six of wands. Something is about to be put on display about this emperor here. That's what's hidden. Yeah. And five of wands. Is put on display about um, seven of wands. Why this person has their guards up? Queen of Cups towards you. See, you come out again. Queen of Cups being very poised, okay? But then something happens. There is an argument here between you and this person. Yep, Queen of Swords. Damn, you turn cold towards them. Cold, calculated, 
Mm, six of Pentacles because there is no equal give and take here in a situation. Okay, it could be like you're remaining emotionally balanced and poised until they think you are goofy. You know, until they continuously um, try to come at you sideways in a way thinking that you're just going to believe whatever they say when you're reviewing these actions from them. And you're like, no, I cannot deal with that. There was no equal give and take here. Who are you fooling? Right? With the Queen of Swords here and the Six of Pentacles. We even have the Page of Cups. So then another emotional offer comes in. But with the Four of Cups here, I feel like you're holding back from it. You just can't believe this is taking place at this time. Yeah. With the Eight of Pentacles, this person is still trying to offer you something. But with the Page of Cups, it's nothing. You know, it's, it's very small what this person has to offer. And with the Nine of Swords here, I feel like this person is going to fall into... Um, a type of depression where they're losing sleep and it's it's going over into regret, okay? Yeah, with the Eight of Swords here. This person, it's like depression with the Nine of Swords and the Eight of Swords here. It's like when they're not sleeping and they're waking daytime, they're depressed. They're in their head. They're trying to, you know, fix the past, change the past, but the past has already happened. Yeah, with the Four of Swords here. What's done is done. And it's like you're already a distant memory by this time. Yeah. With the nine of wands. All right. They're still going to try to have this. What? With the ten of pentacles. Unconventional family. But you're like, no, I don't like the way that that look. That scares me. Think it. You know, because look at Sydney's face. This is like, no, this shit scares me to be in this type of relationship where I look like a fool. You know? So that's what I'm seeing, Capricorn. Moving forward. What's hidden? The person that is on Capricorn's mind. What are they hiding moving forward? We have key to intimacy. It says intimate love is a core need to be met in a relation to ourselves and those closest to us. The journey to intimacy often includes learning what love is not. So it lets me know that further into this reading that this person is learning a lesson okay it's like they wanted their cake and eat it too so they lose the person that they were involved with which is you and now they have some type of financial tie to someone that they didn't want that tie to in the long run okay and it's like learning a lesson here it says voice you are here to be known so speak and be seen Okay, there is an instance in this situation where you're going to have to speak up for yourself. And I feel like you do that with the Queen of Swords and the Six of Pentacles here. You're made to speak up for yourself. Um, it's almost like this is your lesson out of this situation. Let's pull one more. And then we have enough. You were born enough, Capricorn. So that's never a question. Don't question that, okay? Have this radical self-acceptance instead. It says you are perceived the way you perceive yourself, okay? And then the bottom deck we have here is repair. Making amends rather than fun times reveals a relationship's true construction. So it's like you realize through multiple situations that Maybe this person just wasn't for you, right? We also have empty. The ending and beginning lie at either side of the same door, okay? So where there is seemingly an ending, okay, that is beyond repair, a new beginning is also there blooming for you. And you are enough, okay? So as you put that self-love into yourself, you will be seen as that. You will be approached as that because that's how you see yourself, so if this message resonated with you, smash that like button. And if you want to see more reads like this one, smash that like button. Thanks for your love and support to this channel. Until then, peace and love.